was looking for you. What for? I thought maybe we could uh, have something to eat and get out of here. Don't you think you've got enough for us? No. Not yet. Jay, are you getting obsessive about this drinking as you are? I mean, what? But I'm thinking you're not there. I'm not taking drugs anymore. I'm not talking about just the pills. I'm talking about uh, the way you work and your relationships. <laughs> Talk to me about being obsessive. If I'm obsessed with my project from the past, it means that you are the most obsessive, compulsive person I've ever known. You try to control my life. You, you manipulate people to get what you want. Kate Bush Matthews over there. And that's a prime example. And my father. That's another part of it. You are drunk, and I don't think this is the place to discuss it. No! Now, this is a white I think this is the perfect place to talk about it. And speaking of obsessions, let's talk about your latest obsession, Mitch Blake. And I told you he wasn't here. Oh! Uh, Facts here. There's so much going on inside of him that the only way he could get it out was to get drunk. Look, he loves you. He's just upset about what's happening. Hello, sir. This is uh, Larry Ewing. Well, hi, Larry. What can I do for you? Uh, listen, uh, Jerry Grove called me yesterday looking for blame, and we're both a little worried about her. Well, didn't she show up at the, uh, at the arena yesterday? No, no, I called her home, and Jordan said that she was uh, too sick to come to the phone. Oh, I don't believe that for a minute. I neither do I. I think uh, I'm going to scare something's happened to her. All right, all right, look, I'm going to go over there now. I'm going to check it out, and then I'll get back to you, okay? All right, thanks, ma'am. And now, the continuing story of another world. He wants to talk to Jamie. Well, he is asleep. I guess I could wake him up. No, that's all right. I'll call him later. Well, you know, I have to get him up for work anyway. Uh, hold on a moment. Is he there? Yeah, he's still asleep. She's going to wake him up. Well, honey, I'm not calling you to 
just told you. I just want to make sure you're all right. Yeah, I'm too much to drink. I've got a terrible hangover, but I'm going to be all right in a while. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Just don't worry about me. Yes, no. I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Because he's fine, but I can't help it. I'm still worried. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do to help. I don't think there's anything anybody can do to make me feel better. You mean about Jane? No, about my whole family. It's all falling apart. Mom was right. She said this would be rough on everybody. I guess I just didn't realize how rough it would be. Do you doubt us? No. That's about how I feel about you. It's just my family. Oh, Jamie's in trouble. He needs help. I don't think he's getting any support from Mac or Cecile. And I can't help it. I miss Amanda so terribly. But you'll have him back soon. I wish I was as sure about that as you were. Brian said that there was a good chance you'd get custom. Yeah, I know. Have you spoken with Mac? No. I'm sorry you have to. If there's anybody, anybody can help me through this, I've got to figure it out in my own head. And I'm grateful to you. I couldn't have done all of this without you. What can I do for you today? Nothing. Everything I'm going to do today, I have to do by myself. What, what? I'm going to go see Brian and see if I can get this divorce moved along so we can sell this whole thing about Amanda. Well, that should help. You can at least know where to stay. And then I'm going to go over to see Jamie. I have to. I have to see if I can help him. Do something for me, will you? Anything. Please, answer me. It's me. It's Melissa. What are you doing here? I came here to see you. Everybody's been so worried, and I guess they really had good reason to be. I think you better leave, Melissa. I'm not leaving you. I'm all right. See how all right you are. Oh. Oh, he beat you up, didn't he? Yeah. Why? What happened? He got into a little argument over Sandy. Sandy? What what, what about him? John accused me of having feelings for Sandy. And that's when he beat you up? That's when he started. Then he accused me of still being in love with Jerry. And that's when he threw me down. Oh. What? What is it? What? It hurts. Where? I... I'm just, I'm taking you to the hospital. No, Melissa, I don't want to go. I can't You go. can. You can. You have to go. Melissa, what are you doing? I'm calling Larry. No, please don't. I told him that I would call him just as soon as I got over here. I don't want Larry to know about this. He's your brother. He really has a right to know, Blaine. Hi, Larry. It's me. It's Melissa. I'm over here with Blaine now. No. No, she's not all right. Jordan's beaten her up, and I think she's got a couple of cracked ribs. No! No, don't do that. No, I'm taking her over to the hospital right now. Y yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. All right, goodbye. Come on, come on. Yes, please, I don't. Please, listen, we don't have any time to talk now. Okay, we've got to get over there and just find out exactly how bad he's hurt you. Come on. Eat 
so they can get a hold of me there if, uh, to make a decision after I leave. Well, I sure hope I get the job. What your class today, Lee? Well, I have a couple classes this afternoon, so I need to do some studying this morning. I thought I'd let it come over and help me. What class are you studying for? Political science day. Awesome. You ever get the results of that test you took the other day? No, I did not. Would you go and check on the x-rays and see if they're ready? Of course they have to do it. Are you sure you didn't get your hand? I don't know. I'll have to so fast. I see. Now, is there anywhere else you're um, experiencing pain? No, I'm just right here. That's why, that's why you're in so much pain. How did you say this happened, then? I fell down the stairs. Uh, yeah, her heel got caught in the carpet. I only fell off a few steps, but I landed pretty heavily, which is why I, I guess I broke my ribs. I see. I guess I had come up. I would have known how serious it was. Oh, it's not bad as long as it's taken care of. It's just going to cause you a lot of pain. What do you do? Crack ribs in. All I can do is take the bell, write your prescription. If you have pain, tell if it gets really bad, you take it, okay? Alice, is this right there? Yes, she is. I see her. Oh, of course. Jeff, her life was not in 
Jeopardy. She was only alone. She wasn't even alone. She was with two babysitters. Two irresponsible young They're people. not irresponsible. She's been with them before and nothing has ever happened. How do I know nothing is going to happen the next time? No one knows that. Anything could happen. Children have accidents. Well, I won't have her having accidents. She's going to stay right here with me where she can be cared for by responsible mature adults. Meaning Louise? Yes, meaning Louise. You mean that Louise is better for my child than I am? Well, from what happened yesterday, it would seem so, wouldn't it? You're saying that it's better for that child to be with strangers than with her own real parents? This is not a stranger. Besides, I'm here. When? I know your work schedule. You're never here. You never had enough time for me, much less time to be two parents to that little girl. Well, what are you going to do, quit and spend all of your time here with her? This is about a man that I mean, can back just take her without telling me, can't really get away with that. Rachel, until the divorce is final and custody has been awarded, Mac has every right to have Amanda as much as you do. Well, then why can't I just go and take her right back again? No, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Well, why not? Well, it would just complicate matters. Divorces are never easy to begin with, especially where children are concerned. And any rash action on your part well, to make the whole problem more difficult. Well, what am I supposed to do? She needs me. Well, the best advice I can give you is to try to be patient. Now, we have a preliminary hearing this Friday. And temporary custody of Amanda will be awarded at that time. Now, until then, I think you should allow Amanda to remain with Mac. I just want this all to be over with. Oh, I know, Rachel. But it will be over as soon as the divorce is final. Well, when is that going to be? Soon. Trying to expedite it as quickly as I can, but the courts only work so fast. I know, Brad. I'm sorry. I know you're trying. I appreciate it. But there's one thing that we haven't discussed yet. What's that? The settlement. Have you thought about alimony and the separation of community property? I don't want anything from Mac except my daughter, and I'll do anything to get her back. Does um, that include staying away from Mitch Blake? What? Rachel, I think you must seriously consider seeing as little of Mitch Blake as possible until the divorce is final. Why? Because I think the courts could use that relationship as cause to give custody to Mac. Judges would really buy that? Yes, I think they would. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to be close to Lee again. It's been a few months since you left Wisconsin. It'd be good being near Clarice again, too. It's been even longer since I've seen her. Really? Yeah, years. Ellie was just a kid the last time I saw Clarice. 
must be kind of exciting moving to a new city and everything. Uh, I'm definitely on the move yet. Yeah. Why not? Well, unless I get the job, I'm going to go back to Wisconsin. Well, I hope you get the job. Thank you. You know, I don't even know what you do. Lee's never told me. I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? You don't look like a lawyer. Are you with a firm here? Or yeah, the uh, district attorney's office is. Come on, Blaine. You have to relax. Larry's not going to do anything rash. Oh, Melissa, sometimes, you know, he just has such a terrible temper. He won't endanger his life or yours. He isn't stupid. I know that. I just don't want him to get more deeply involved than he already is. He'll be okay. Believe me. Dr. Delaney didn't believe our story, did she? I don't really think so. I think she'll tell anyone. No. No, she has to protect the confidentiality of her patients. Listen, this just keeps getting worse and worse. Lane, and worse. Lane, listen. It's not going to help anybody if you stay so upset. If you want, I'm just going to stay here a while with you, okay? No, I think you'd better go back to the connection, really. Yeah. I guess I better. But listen, thank you. For everything. I'm glad I was here. <laughs> really? I'll call you later and I'll find out how you are. Uh, no, I think it'd be better if I called you. Don't forget. No, I won't. Please, be careful. Yeah, I will. Listen, I, I can't do this. I can't walk out and leave well, you here alone. Please, you've got to go. If Jordan comes back and finds you here, he'll be upset. You know what but... he's capable of doing. Well, then would you just take some advice from a friend? What? Get out of here. <laughs> there is nothing that I would like to do more. But I can't. Because too many people would get hurt. Like Jerry? Yeah. Well, I think that Jerry can take care and of you. And Sandy. Sure. Something wrong? Uh, is Cecile still here? No, she went to work. Are you all right? <laughs> well, yeah, why? Well, I called the complex and they said you hadn't come in. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll go in a little while, you know. I mean, I'm still not feeling too hot. <laughs> Want some coffee? No. No, I really came over because I needed somebody to talk to. I just want you to know I love you and I care what happens to you. Thank you. I 
you the same about you. Why don't you talk? Oh, of course. <laughs> he says that I uh, I can't spend any time with Mitch anymore, or I'll jeopardize my chances to, to win custody of Amanda. So what are you going to do? I don't know what to do. And once again, I'm in this position of having to choose between people I love. I can't do anything to jeopardize my chances to get Amanda. You want to be with Mitch? I need to be with him, honey. He's the only good thing that's happening in my life right now. Well, as you know, I've never liked Mitch. In fact, every time his name has been mentioned, we fought. Well, I've been reevaluating my feelings about things, and I now believe you have to be with the person you love. So if you honestly love Mitch, you should be with him. Are you with the person that you love? I'm okay. You and Cecilia are getting along. We're doing fine. This is what you're talking about, you. Okay, not me. Are we? Yes. So, Marla, if you really love Mitch, if you honestly love him, then you should be with him. Even if it means that I might lose Amanda. Would you get these contracts back to Pat? Tell her they're fine. All right. And oh. Mr. Ferguson will call, watch him call back, and he says you'll know what it's about. Yes, I'll call him right now. Glad to have that little. Alice! Well, nice to see you. How are you? Of course, I'm fine, Max. What on earth are you doing in here? Well, actually, I came by to ask you to dinner. Oh, <laughs> well, wasn't that thoughtful of you? But I really better finish all this work here before I leave tonight. Oh, well, I don't mind waiting, Liz. I really have nothing else planned for this evening. Well, I, um... But it's surely there's nothing bad that could wait till tomorrow morning. Well, I really should get it done tonight, Mac. Jim's taking me out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Well, it wasn't exactly fibbing. You see, I would rather finish all this work before I leave. I have an idea. It seems a shame that Alice could come all the way over here and not get dinner. Oh, yeah, no trouble. I'd like yeah. it very much if you'd have dinner with Amanda and me. Why, well, thank you, Liz. I'd be delighted. Okay, why don't we take it? It's uh, it's, uh, the pre registration packets. We should get them done. Sure. Something wrong? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into it. Open relationship here. We do. Then talk to me. How am I going to help you if you don't talk to me? I want to drop out of school for a semester. What? Yeah, I want to drop out of school. I want to get a full time job. I want to get an apartment of my own. Lee, I thought you wanted to stay in school so you could better fund the team. Well, I've, uh, I've thought about it, you know? Yeah. And maybe that isn't so important anymore. I don't believe that for a minute. As long as I've known you, hockey has been the most important thing to you, and now you want to give it up? Uh uh-uh, uh, buddy, what's wrong? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I do. I don't want to live in the same house with Benny. You know, I honestly don't understand what it is you have against your brother. You know, he seems like a nice enough guy to me. Well, you don't know him like I know him. Yeah, well, still, you're being a little bit rough on him. I'm not being rough yes, on him. Yes, you are. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm just showing him the way I have. The way I want things. Yeah, well, he's trying awfully hard to get along with you. Why don't you give him a second chance, Pat? I've given him plenty of chances in the past. But he always ends up trying to run my life. Mm-hmm. I'm old enough now to take care of myself. I make my own mistakes without him butting his nose into it. Hey, besides, well, don't you think it'd be nice if we had an apartment of our own? <laughs> yeah, but um, how are we going to manage? What do you mean? Oh, uh, apart 
things cost money, Lee. And besides, there's other things you have to worry about, like, you know, expenses. And I go to school. How are we going to afford it? We'll manage. Yeah, we'll manage. How well? Sounds like you don't want to do it. No, no, no. It's, it's not that. It, I just don't think right now is the right time. This is why you want it. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but... Well, I was kind of thinking maybe after we saved a little money or something, you know? No, 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 no. I don't want to wait that long. I want to get out now. Get on my own. I think that you're running away from your problems. I, I'm not running yes, away from my problems. Sally, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You've had problems with any in the past. And instead of facing up to you, your only solution is to move away. Well, it wouldn't do any good to try to resolve my problems okay, with Danny. why not? You won't change. You'll never change. He's already started to do the same old things all over again. It's not going to change anything. Why don't you just make up with your brother? Huh? I'd like you to know how pleased 
pleased I am that you had come over. Amanda and I certainly enjoyed having dinner with you. I have to admit, it gets pretty lonely around the house since Rachel left. I'll always be in love with her, but I guess sometimes love just isn't enough. Amanda seems to be doing well. Yes, she is. I'm so glad that bump didn't prove to be serious. I'm glad, too. She means a great deal to you, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She means the whole world to me. Sure hope I don't lose her. What do you mean? How can you lose her? Well, there's a preliminary hearing on the divorce on Friday. At that time, the court is going to award temporary custody, either to Rachel or to me. Oh, I see. How do you think it'll go? I don't know, but of course, the courts usually award custody to the mother. But won't it make a great deal of difference that Amanda's in her own home, being properly supervised by a full-time housekeeper, especially with Rachel in temporary quarters? Besides, Rachel will have to go back to work eventually, won't she? Well, if she continues to refuse any help from me, I imagine she will. Well, then she'd have to hire someone to watch Amanda while she's away during the day, and you already have someone. Hmm. Surely the courts will take that into consideration. I sure hope so. I just don't know if I could handle losing Amanda, too. See Brian today. Uh -huh. He says a preliminary hearing is set for Friday. But he doesn't think I have a very good chance of getting custody of Amanda. Well, you knew that that was always a possibility. Yes, I know. What else? He says I shouldn't be staying with you until the divorce is final. He says Mac will use it to try and gain custody of Amanda. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I stay away. No, I don't want that. Then what? I want to be with you. Escort services. Oh, okay. Joy, it was part of the deal, okay? You can never get away from the company, can you? I guess not. Looks to me the only way you will plan to ever get away is if someone puts Jordan away for good.
join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of another world.